Hey guys, we're back with a brand new MacBook Pro with the new 5600M graphics. And in this video, we're gonna be testing out a bunch of games to see how it compares and how well it performs. And if you didn't watch the video from yesterday where we ran a bunch of benchmarks, definitely watch that video. We'll have a link in the description below, or you can wait until this video is over and click the end screen to check that out. Now in that video, we showed off our brand new premium hoodie. Now we also have t-shirts like this one. So definitely go down into the merch shelf and check those two out. We've got Windows 10 Bootcamp, as you guys can see. And I wanna show off the OpenCL score that we got. 43,885 on Windows OpenCL. I think in Mac OS, we only got like 38,000 OpenCL, but we got 43 for metal. So now what I'm gonna do before playing games in Windows, I'm gonna switch back to Mac OS and we're gonna play some Fortnite on Mac OS to see how it performs. All right, here we are, Mac OS, Fortnite. We're gonna go all out. Let's go full resolution, 3K resolution right here and it auto set to high with far, high and all these different settings. All right, the fans are heating up, but I wanna remind you guys about the resolution that we're playing at. Now, 1440p has about 3.7 million pixels, and we're playing at the MacBook Pro's native resolution, which is about 5.9 million. So basically in between 1440p and 4K. All right, so seeing as we're at that resolution, this is insane, I'm getting about like 88 FPS right now 72 what in the world guys Come on, bro. Oh my goodness. This is so consistent, too. I do want to mention this is the 8 core model With 32 gigs of RAM with the 5600M. Yo Boom Oh my goodness 95 it just hit a hundred FPS at this resolution and settings. All right, we're back on Windows, and before we get into the gaming, I wanna test out two more benchmarks, Unage in Heaven and 3D Marks Time Spy. I wanna remind you we're doing the extreme preset, that way it's the same across all systems. All right, wow guys, this score is insane. 83.8 FPS Unage in Heaven on Windows 10, compared to on macOS, we got 75.7, so even more, and by the way, these are not custom drivers that I downloaded. This is right out of the box bootcamp. Windows 10, we didn't do anything, just automatically installed and we're getting this much performance. 3D Mark Time Spy, let's run it right here. All right, so we just got the score back. 5,573 points in Time Spy for this new graphics card with automatic download Windows 10 bootcamp drivers. And looking at this, it says we scored better than 43% of all results and right above us at 5,700 points is an RTX 2060 laptop. That is just insane. That is awesome from this mobile chip that has a TDP of 50 watts only. So let us know down in the comment section below how much your gaming laptop or your desktop PC scored compared to this guy. All right guys, here's Fortnite on Windows 10 and surprisingly, it found the best settings for us, which was native resolution, 16 by 10. But it set everything to epic with 100% 3D resolution. Everything's on epic. So let's start out with this. All right, so everything maxed out, literally the max that it can be with native resolution, 33 FPS is what we're getting. It does have some spikes down, so definitely not optimal, not where you'd want it to be. I'm gonna switch it to high, but I'm gonna set the 3D res to 100%. Hey, look at that, now we're getting about 50 FPS. And just because this resolution's insane, I'm just gonna let it be at 62% resolution. 100 FPS, guys, 120 FPS right there. What's up with these bots, man? Get out of here. Got him. So all of you guys that are curious how much performance this would get at 1080p resolution, I actually found out that if you set the 3D resolution to 36%, that'll be exactly about 1920 by 1080 p resolution, about 2.07 million pixels coming from the native res. And I'm just gonna go epic, epic everything. And there we have it, 144 FPS. Basically, look, goes up to 150, I see 160, sometimes 130, but look at that. You can grab this MacBook Pro with the 5600M, 
hook it up to a 144 hertz monitor and play Fortnite at 144 FPS. This is insane. And not only that, but it's at epic. Epic everything, everything's maxed out at 1080p resolution, basically the same matching pixels. All right, we're going into Call of Duty Warzone and so far I can already tell you guys, this is a gaming beast. You don't need an eGPU, you don't need the 5700 XT. Buy this thing by itself because not only are the games better, but since it's integrated, the graphics is integrated, it's gonna be better for productivity work compared to having the eGPU where you have the bottleneck of the Thunderbolt 3 cable. All right guys, getting into Warzone, I'm here in the settings and I've set the resolution to 1843 by 1152. That's actually 2.12 million pixels, higher than 1080p, which is 2.07 million. All right guys, so far 124 FPS, 120. All right, so about 110 FPS, sometimes 115. I did see it go up to 140, but now that I'm walking around, it's not. So it is getting close to the performance of the HP Omen with the RTX 2060, not the Max-Q edition. Oh, I almost had him. Considering that this is a 50 watt TDP chip and it's performing this well, that's impressive. Oh, we got me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up the settings to see what graphic settings we could get at this resolution at around 60 FPS. So I'm just gonna go all out, max everything out. Anti-aliasing to the max. Nobody would really do this, but let's try it out. All right, guys, we're seeing 90 FPS down here. Like, are you kidding? All right, out here, 88, 81, 75, 96. Guys, I just turned everything up to the max. Even the anti-aliasing is maxed out fully. If you're buying this thing to do video editing, 3D rendering, whatever else, and you want to do some gaming on the side, you don't have to go and buy an eGPU. You don't have to buy a gaming PC or laptop. Just buy this thing. Oh, that was bad. Come on, bro. All right, guys, now I'm going to match it up to 1440p resolution, which is 2472 by 1517, that's basically 3.68 or around there million pixels. So I'm just gonna switch it to that without changing any other settings. All right, basically 1440p, getting 58, 60, 61 FPS. So basically around 60 FPS average. No way did he kill me. So 60 FPS average at 1440p resolution, that's actually really impressive. And of course, that's not only around 1440p resolution, but everything's maxed out, guys. 1440p, everything maxed out. And as you guys know, Warzone is not fully optimized yet because it's a fairly new game. So now I'm gonna go native. Native resolution, 3072 by 1920. And I'm just gonna switch it down to normal and just turn off a lot of these extra settings. Guys, 73 FPS. Native resolution, guys, that's a lot of pixels. That is in between 1440p and 4K. With a gaming laptop, who plays at high resolutions like this? In between 1440p and 4K? Really nobody, you know? Most people, especially for a game like this, Battle Royale, Warzone, a lot of people play at 1080p or 1440p. And as you just saw, the FPS that we got is really impressive and we're getting close to around 50, 60, sometimes 70 FPS at this native resolution, which is very high. Got him. What's up, bro? Got him. Ooh, he got me. Ooh, that guy was quick. All right, guys, with all of those games tested, I can say that I am extremely impressed with AMD with the 5600M, especially since it only has a 50 watt TDP and we're getting performance that good out of this incredibly thin MacBook Pro. But the fact is that this is a $800 graphics option upgrade to get the 5600M, so you're spending a minimum of $3,200. Now, if you're a gamer, it probably makes sense to get some other Windows gaming laptop that's much cheaper than this and has a RTX 2060 or something better than that, but 
If you love Apple, you want a MacBook Pro, and you want to do some productivity work, some video editing, whatever else you're trying to do, but you also want a game, you could actually get this 5600M, you don't have to buy an eGPU, you don't have to buy a gaming PC or a gaming laptop, you have one thin machine, the 16-inch MacBook Pro, to do all of it, to get insane gaming performance. So I'd say if you're thinking of going for the 5500M with the 8 gigs of memory because you want to do some gaming on the side, I would strongly suggest if you can just go for the 5600M because the performance is just so much better. And in the next video that I'm going to do, after this video goes up, I'm going to start working on the eGPU versus this 5600M comparison video that's going to be coming up probably tomorrow, hopefully. So if you guys are not already subscribed, you can click the circle above to do so right now. And if you did not watch the benchmark video that went up tomorrow, you can check it out right over there. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to check out our merch right below this video.